Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And yes, we have a good update today. We now have blueprinting in the game. It's uh, something they've been talking about for a while, and they finally got around to doing it. Uh, I was kind of worried about it myself, because uh, uh, I was messing around with a console command called blueprinting. It was only copying one grid at a time. It wasn't copying multiple things, like a tank, for instance. So I was messing around with it, and... Uh, as you can see, I got two gyros up on the mountain there. And when I placed the second one, it was still actually turning. I was impressed. Uh, we do have a few other things in the game too. Uh, one of the things is they've changed the part catalog. They make it a lot bigger so it's easier to see things. Uh, they've reorganized the parts a little bit better uh, for accessibility reasons. And uh, we also now have glass panels, which is something I could have used to 150 episodes ago when I built my skylight out of the walls and then we got a couple other bo blocks here and this one looks interesting this actually looks like a, a, a replica of uh, the round art corner here so maybe we can use that like a trebuchet bucket or something get four of those on there and use that instead uh, but yeah we have the blueprinting I have been testing it out it seems to work good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and share some of my creations for you guys to download on the Steam Workshop. And I thought we'd start over here, we'll get uh, my flyers here, I got my Dragonfly here, and then I got the X-Wing. So let's go ahead and we'll place this down, it's actually getting a little dark, I'll deal with that in a minute. Alright, and it's pretty simple to use, uh, you can go local, or on Steam, uh, a local uh, Crane Balls has a couple of small little creations they put in here for everybody, and then got new delete share and build and basically go new and it goes into like a, a camera mode and you sort of see the build actually highlight and when it highlights that also gets your thumbnail probably should make it daytime so I can get a better thumbnail of this oh this should be okay and then smile just like that we'll name this dragonfly if I can type, uh, Dragonfly, and so on. So I'll bring you back at the next one. All right, that one's done. I probably should have just shared right then and there so I'll show you how to do it, but okay, now we'll go to my X-Wing here. Uh, feel free to change the color if you want. I just did with that because you know red's faster, right? As they say. Uh, probably should have brought that over here. I'll just place another one. Thank God for creative. Go on here, create new. And smile, just like that. Uh, red X uh, wing. I cannot type, uh, fortunately. So I play video games. I know I say that all the time. And then, uh, yeah, uh, red X, X wing. Feel free to be. Color. All right, create. And I go in here. If, and then if we go to, let's see, uh, the red X wing, go to share and upload to the Steam Workshop. And there we go. Just like that. Build time, five seconds. Now, apparently, I didn't actually check that. Let's, uh, won't let me delete it, I guess. But, oh, yeah, okay. There is a conveyor port there. Uh, if you do this in survival, you do need to have the items either in your inventory or in a contain container connected to this. Uh, so I don't know what the actual range is for building, but building is pretty simple. Let's go ahead and build another gyro just because. And you get this hitbox. And we just let's go over here and place it down. I was actually going to start the episode by spawning like 50 spiders around here just for kicks. Uh, speaking of spider. I think maybe in the next episode we're going to rework that thing. I want to take the air blades off and put the hover pads on like I wanted to. Am I too far away? Why is it not letting me place it? No, let me place it there. Anyways, there you go. And it builds. And it'll probably be rotating because... It's not even planted. Oh yeah, it was the rocks. Yeah, because of the hitbox. Is that peg? Look out. Uh, okay. There we go. Upload complete. I have looked at the, the, the blueprint files. 
I could do some interesting things. I'm not going to say anything because I don't know what I'm going to do. But let me bring them back today and we'll share a few more blueprints. A new day has sprung. Should we upload Lucy? Her tail will work. I am going to upload the centipede though. I have no idea what to call it. Let's get over here. Place another terminal just because we can. And let's see what we got here. Go new. Get a nice thumbnail of this one. Alright. Uh, centipede. Alright, great. I'll share that later. And then we'll go and grab the tank. I think it's going to be the interesting one. This is actually probably one of the most, one of the biggest things I was waiting for. Was being able to get my tank back without having to rebuild it. Unfortunately, until they change it, I won't be able to actually fire it more than 100 meters. Uh, if you decide to download it yourself, uh, if you know how to load it, uh, you place a small block just above the hover pad in the center. And you build your rails on it, you take out the small block, it'll drop in place, and you hop and get in there, you... I'm sure you'll figure it out. You go up, and you raise it up and down with space and control. It's been a while since I've flown this thing. Alright, let's get another one of these down. And create new. Let's go down here. What would be interesting is if it actually would tell you how many parts there was. Alright, so this is... What should we call this? Not the Annihilator. Call it a mobile railgun. Should be cutting this out, but my uh, my hotkeys for recording is actually forward slash and star, so then I'd get that in there. Uh, mobile rail gun. All right, create that one. Uh, there are some other ones we're gonna do. Uh, they're not in this world here. I don't think I have much else. Uh, I'm not gonna do this gyro, but I am gonna do the the most recent one, and I think. Just for the hell of it, I'll upload the helicarrier. I'm warning you, if you want to download this, this is a very, a very big build. I'm going to bring up the console here, type block count. There you go, 13,496 blocks. Yeah, uh, I would highly suggest you turn your graphics all the way down, if you can. And, uh, yeah, expect your game to crash. But it's been pretty good in the new Unity build. Uh, sadly, the, the old spider didn't work, but I do want to rework the old spider and go from there. So let's, let's actually do this. I've consoled, I've blueprinted this already. I did that in, uh, in the console there. There's actually a command for it. But uh, I'm actually really glad this is keeping all the structures. Alright, new. Let's, gotta get that thumbnail, right? It's all about the thumbnail. Surprisingly, the file's not that big for it. It's only like a couple of megs. Alright. I want to see what you guys can come, come up with. Like, if you want to redecorate, add a few things, change a little bit. I want to see if what you guys can come up with. Alright, so... Um, I'm going to call this the lab helicarrier. What else would I call it? Helicarrier. Uh, warn. Oops. Warning. 13,496 blocks. Let's see how many downloads I get on that. Alright. On to white shade. So now, the, of course, it's a new save, a new save file. Uh, of course, I don't have it on my hotbar. Boo! I should know what I'm doing by now. Let's get out of third person. Place that. Open up. 
Oh yeah, that was a little bit of lag just opening that thing up. Oh nice, you can blueprint it from here. Yes. No, actually. Let's try to get that nice toothy toothy grin that they put in the, the game menu there. Oh, I could have so much fun with this. Oh. There's the physics. Makes me actually wonder now if you can actually if it'll snap to another grid so you can do like a copy and paste. If that's the case, that would be amazing. Alright. Smile, show those pearly whites. Let's go up a little higher. Get that tail in there if we can. There we go. Create that. Uh, okay, and for the next one, and of course we'll get the heli uh, aircraft carrier in. I forgot about this. This actually should be pretty good if you want to get, if you want to use this like for flyers or whatever, and get rid of the planes. These are actually better than the ones on the helicarrier. Almost could put wheels on them. I actually had someone ask me if I could turn these into real planes, and I think I could. Realistically, just put some air blades right in the white square there and got yourself a little plane. But anyways, let's uh, uh got to get this one somehow. Uh, let's see. I need a short inner wall. Do that. And this is just a. I don't even have to do this. I could do this with underwater. What am I thinking? Think outside the box, right? All right, so create a new one. That's cool. And yes, it is getting dark, so uh, let me get out of this and I'll get a better thumbnail. Okay, that's a little better. Nice shadow from the control tower. Get that hover mode on. Jeez. Uh, I'm happy, uh, I did not spell that right. Craft carrier. Okay, no warnings about this one. This one's stable. Okay, and let's see what else can we do here. How about June? Hmm. Yeah, she did work okay, so yeah, let's, let's do June. Uh, I don't know if we still have to update her wings or not. can't remember how to close them. Come on, can I not reach? There we go. I guess she's still a little bugged. <laughs> uh, unintentional pen, gotta love him. Alright, well, let's unplant her. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, for one, I'm not in creative anymore, and two, for some reason that wasn't working in creative anymore, you had to actually have a block. Uh, did I? No, I actually had to open up the other one, come on. There we go. I thought those closed them, no, no. I can't remember the last time I used this thing. Anyway, let's... Oh. Oh, I was going to say, do I have the resources for this? That's a, a stupid question. Alright, I'll go ahead and place this. Alright. Oh, hello. Six minutes to build the aircraft carrier. 4,600 plate frames. 5,000 plates. Alright, so I probably got that wrong. That's crazy, but let's look at the helicarrier. There we go. Uh, yeah, so probably three large containers full of parts to build that. Ten minutes. That's awesome. That's really cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and make a new one. I hope this doesn't cost any resources. And... There we go, ladybug. Great. Okay. Uh, I like this really much else in here. 
Uh, if there's anything you guys want to see, just, you know, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, maybe. Maybe we should go back a few saves and load the train up. Yeah, let's do that. And, of course, we certainly can't forget about the carnival rides, huh? Uh, you know, I was actually thinking one of the things that I should, someone, I should do if someone hasn't done already is just upload the terminal just for the sake of it. There you go, we'll blueprint the terminal. Okay, let's go ahead and place this. And of course it's raining every time I start recording. Oh, that's right. I gotta finish building it. Okay. Create new. Uh, I'm gonna actually unlock everything. Actually, is it unlocked? Should be unlocked. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's no reticle. Oh, hang on. Let's get out of this. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's unlocked. Okay. And of course, I can't get the C menu on this. We'll do this, and we'll also do the pirate ship, too, just because. Okay, it is self-propelled. Uh... Yeah, we'll keep it on this one. Uh, when you're in it, just push forward for maximum speed. The orbiter. Press W. Oh. Hold W for more speed. Helps if I spell it right. All right, now for the pirate ship. No, oh, let's uh, bring this, bring this along. That's cool. We can actually see it from here. That'll come in handy if you ever lose a rover. Just build a terminal, and you'll be able to find it. All right, watch out for that guy there. Oh yeah, and I'm not even thinking about thumbnails here. I do have a. Uh... Let's see if I get sleep in a stasis chamber while I got this thing going. Oh, one way to find out, and no, no. Anyway, sleep away the sleep away the rain, just like that. And go ahead and build another one of these. And get the tool out. Oh wait, I'm already here. All right, new. And let's go up on the hill and get a nice thumbnail of this, right in the sun. And I wasn't going to, but I think uh, I probably will get the Revenger in. Uh, ship. Uh, w and S to control. Okay, and. Did I have the gyro here? No, this was a gyro was somewhere else, was it not? I can't remember what I built that thing. Uh, I'll upload the small one actually. The small one worked better. The bigger one wasn't as expected. But let's go do the Revenger. All right, and here we are with the uh, with the pirate ship, uh, the actual pirate ship. Um, there's gonna be a note with this one. Uh, you have to go into the cockpit in the captain's cabin here and hover up with the air blades before you unplant it or disconnect it. Uh, if you don't, it'll go nose down into the ground. But anyways, let's uh, get a nice little shot of this one. And... Oh. Yeah, we'll get it from back here. Maybe we'll get those flags in. There we go. Oh, the idea is the things I could do. Just think of it spawning like 30 or 40 of them out there. Okay, and one, what's next? I guess we'll end it off with the transformer here. Yeah, on this one, all you gotta do is just go get in the cockpit, uh, hover up, hover down to get it transform. I do have that switchboard there attached to those air blades. So you just turn it on, turn it off, and it'll move. So with that, 
Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you download any of my stuff, I hope you, hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to, you know, write, rate it, like it, and what have you. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.